Hello, welcome to the video tip for uh, Martin from last week's blog. And Martin was asking about the right elbow position on the downswing, whether it should be in front of the, the hip, in front of the stomach on the downswing, into the gut through impact, and if that helps create more lag for him. Um, he was trying to hold the wrist positions, basically get rid of the casting motion during the swing. I picked up Rory McIlroy here because I, what I want to show you, Martin, is there's two ways to go at this thing. If you look at McIlroy on the downswing, you will not see that right elbow in the classically tucked in front of the right in front of the right hip or into the tummy position that you were speaking of. It really does trail the right hip and is behind the stomach quite significantly coming into impact. Um, this isn't unusual for great players. Uh, we see a player like say Jim Furyk here on the downswing whose right elbow isn't just behind his hip, it's actually behind his back, it might even be behind his tailbone coming into impact. Um, he's definitely not in a classic elbow down in front pitch position approaching the ball. So these players have had success. That obviously will work. Um, it may not be ideal, but it will work. Um, I'm going to show you a before and after picture of kind of maybe something that you were trying to, to feel or think of in your own swing. And this one is of one of my students on the downswing. This is a before picture, and you can see her right elbow is stuck behind her hip coming into impact. And then when you look at her on the downswing on the new one, we'll see that that elbow moves down in front, and that's in front of her hip, more into her tummy. The benefit of that is that approaching impact on the left, you're going to see scoop. Um, the right arm is extending, the right wrist is losing its bend, the left wrist bends backwards in their scoop. And on the improved one with the elbow down in front, the hands lead the shaft in, forward lean on the shaft, right wrist bent, left wrist flat, all the great stuff that you want to see at impact. So the idea is this, what do you got to do? Do you have to have it in front or do you not want to have it in front? And really the, the, the idea is you can do either one and be successful but what you really need to have is good sequence. And good sequence is when the body leads the downswing. So when we look at McElroy's swing, we're checking that out, what we can see from him is that as he gets ready to start down, his ground up motion starts it. Feet first, then knees, then hips. Feet, knees, hips, then trunk, then arms, and then club. If you're in sync and you're relaxed and you're moving in the right direction with your body, then you're going to have enough lag to deliver the club to the ball with all the power that you need. If you start down with your arms first, it's not going to happen for you. So worry a little less about the elbow position, because we can see with McElroy, obviously it's not in the elbow in front of the stomach position you were thinking of. But work on the sequence instead, and I think you're going to see a big improvement in the ball striking. Good luck, Mark.